Mastering the art of, in comparison with, advanced idiomatic expressions in academic writing. Hello everyone! Welcome to another video in our series on idiomatic expressions in academic and professional contexts. Today, we'll dive into a common idiom in academic writing, in comparison with. This idiom is a powerful tool to express contrasts and comparisons in your essays, reports or academic papers, so let's delve right in. The idiom, in comparison with, is used to juxtapose two or more elements, showing how they are similar or different. It emphasizes the contrasts or similarities between things, thus enriching your academic writing and making it more nuanced. Example, in comparison with the 19th century, technology has evolved tremendously in the 21st century. In comparison with, is best used when you want to highlight differences or similarities between two concepts, periods, studies, or any other elements in your academic writing. For instance, if you're writing a research paper comparing two studies, you could say, in comparison with the Johnson study, the Smith study found a significantly higher correlation between variable X and variable Y. This not only highlights the differences but also adds depth to your analysis. While, in comparison with, is widely used, there are also several variations that can add variety to your writing. Some of these include, 1. In comparison to, this is almost identical in meaning and usage to, in comparison with. Example, in comparison to the previous data, these results show a significant improvement. 2. Compared with, compared to, these are slightly more informal but are also used in academic writing. Example, compared with last year's results, the company has made substantial progress. Remember, variety in your language can make your writing more engaging and appealing to your readers. Now that you've understood the usage of, in comparison with, and its variations, it's time to practice. Try to use this idiom in your next academic writing task. Remember, practice is the key to mastering any new language element. And there you have it, folks. That wraps up our quick but comprehensive guide to using the idiom, in comparison with, in academic and professional writing. We hope that this will prove helpful in enhancing your writing skills. Stay tuned for more videos in our series on advanced academic vocabulary. Happy writing and see you in the next video.